Hello students. Today we will create a new project in Scratch which will show the different forms of energy. I have already created this project. I will run this project and explain you the coding afterwards. When I press the green flag, you can see the sun is turning around and here the thermal energy is produced by the flames of the fire pit. So in the beginning we had the sun. This is the coding for the sun. Sun uh, sprite says sun provides light energy and then 10 times it is repeating and turning 15 degrees waiting for 0 0.3 seconds in between when it is turning the brightness effect is increasing so from looks we have taken change color effect by and we change the color to brightness and give it a number so change brightness effect by 5 so if brightness has a number and every time it is increasing by 5 number so when i press the green flag can you see the brightness of the sun it is becoming brighter after every repetition so that was the command for changing the brightness effect of the sun then the sun is hidden and you broadcast a message fire pit so this is the fire pit this is the fire um, sprite in the beginning it is hiding and when it receives the message it switches the backdrop to fire pit so in the stage we have two backdrops one is fire pit and one is blue sky so the in the blue sky we were showing the sun in the beginning when the green flag is pressed switch backdrop to blue sky and when i receive fire pit switch backdrop to fire pit it shows the fire it says thermal energy is produced from the fire pit flames and here we are using change color effect and change pixelate effect so i will again run this you will see the pixels of the fire will be changing now can you see here repetitively the pixels are increasing in this and also the color is changing so we are using the change color and change pixelate from the looks. We'll continue this here. So this girl is speaking supposedly about the different forms of energy. So when I press the, I will make it full screen first. Hindi me se urja kaha jata hai. Here you can see the whirling action of the fan. The moving fan shows the mechanical energy. Here we have a nucleus which is getting split and releasing a lot of energy. This is called nuclear energy by fission effect. Here there is a hammer which is hitting the nail. So as the hammer hits the nail it transfers mechanical energy. Now we'll do the code. Look at the coding for this. So here, the girl Abby is speaking, saying, and translating the command in different languages. So we're using these three commands: say, speak, and translate. After that, it sends a message to show the fan. So the fan message receives the message. And here we are using the change whirl effect. Repetitively, the fan is changing the whirl effect and it looks like it is moving fan. So the moving fan shows mechanical energy. Then a message is sent to nucleus. So the nucleus was drawn as a circle and in between with the text tool, the type the text nucleus was written. And here in the coding, 
when the nucleus shown it plays symbol sound from sounds you can download or from library you can take the sounds and repetitively 30 times it is changing the mosaic effect so the mosaic effects is like breaking one piece into multiple pieces so it is changing by four number you can vary the number and check how the mosaic effect works in between the change i have added a weight block so that the change doesn't look very rapid and then the nucleus image will hide and it will send the message to hammer we have a hammer and a nail here so in the beginning the nail is hiding and when it receives show hammer the nail will show and also the hammer will show now the hammer repeatedly changes to next costume so in the costumes here we have duplicated the costume of hammer and rotated it so if you select the image like this and then from here you can rotate so it looks you can you can duplicate this right click and duplicate this costume and then from here supposedly i select this part and from here i rotate it little up so now this hammer has three costumes one two and three so as the costumes keep changing if i show it here so this is how it is working so if i want to remove the second costume i can delete it and now i'll play it again so one two three four five it is repeating 10 times and waiting 0 0.3 seconds in between you can pull it little up so this is showing the mechanical energy here now we have a bulb which is going to light because of the chemical energy stored in the cells so when i run this project here the bulb is slowly glowing and the batteries contain chemical energy which transform into light energy and electric electrical energy glowing bulb showed the electrical and light energy and after that it starts glowing back here we have the heater it is emitting the heat waves the different uh, variety of heat waves then this is the guitar which is changing its color because of light energy also we can hear the sound music due to sound energy here there's a bus which is moving with its wheels which are turning so the movement of the wheel shows mechanical energy here now to see the coding for the bulb and the battery in the beginning when the green flag is clicked the battery is hiding in the beginning and then when it receives the show bulb message it sends the message the batteries contain chemical energy which transform into electrical and light energy in a bulb so here in the costume for this batteries i added the cost this batteries from google as a sprite and then in the paint window i drew this circuit this is the whole costume for battery and for the bulb place the bulb right in the center of the circuit and the coding for this is in the beginning it is hiding when it receives show bulb we set the ghost effect to 100 when i set the ghost effect to 100 that means it is not showing at all it is completely invisible then we repeat 50 times and change the ghost effect by minus 2 that means slowly the ghost effect will keep on decreasing from 100 to 0 and as it is the ghost effect is decreasing 
the image will become visible. After it is completely visible, when the ghost effect is zero, it will say the glowing bulb showed the electrical and light energy. After it is showing completely, now we'll again increase the ghost effect so that the bulb switches off. Let me play this one time. So here, slowly the bulb is glowing. The ghost effect is becoming zero. And then the bulb will say, the glowing bulb showed the electrical and light energy. After that, the ghost effect will start increasing. When it is 100, it becomes invisible. Now for the heater, we have different costumes for the heater here. Heater 1, heater 2 with some amount of heat waves, heater 3, more amount of heat waves and they're little darker red and here the intensity of heat waves become more. These four costumes we are going to use here in the switch costume 2 commands and also we are changing the pixelate effect of the changing the pixelate effect by 25 after it switches to costume 3. So when I receive this here you will notice you can see the pixelate effect has increased here because of the change pixelate command and then three times it is going to repeat changing the costume from 4 and 3 and then it will say the electric heater shows electrical and thermal energy. After that, the guitar is changing color. Here you can give more number of repetitions, suppose six repetitions. And here I will not repeat this two times. I will just let all these sounds, different sounds of the guitar. We have taken the notes and play them one time. And in between, I will change the color of the guitar by 15 and move it 10 steps and minus 10 steps. So when I play this and this, so you can see the color is changing and it is playing the sound. So we can actually repeat it more number of times, maybe 20 times. So again, if I stop this and play this, We'll be able to see the color changing more often and the guitar is playing for once and then this guitar says it is changing its color because of light energy and you can hear the music due to sound energy. Now here the bus is moving and as it is moving we are changing the fish eye effect. In the beginning, we set the fisher eye effect to zero. And in the repeat block, we change the fisher eye effect by 10. So this is how the effect looks at the end. And also the wheel is turning right and turning left repetitively, giving the movement effect. And when it will touch the edge, it will bounce back. So these are different forms of energy being represented in the Scratch programming language. I hope you enjoy creating the different forms of energy in Scratch program. Happy coding!